on the pizza. Like she actually, she opened her bum, <laughs> on the pizza and then ate the pizza because she cheated on her husband <laughs> with a younger man. But the younger man is now her boyfriend. is good my good people it's your girl madam joyce in the bizzle and we are back again tell a friend it's been another week long time no speak i'm so excited i'm so happy to be here and hope you guys have had a phenomenal week but i guys honestly i had to bring one of my boyfriends onto the show where is he um, oh husband Husband, Aye. yes, I had, to, I had to bring my husband, so my much. daddy. He is so talented, he's an amazing voice and you may have seen him on the red carpet interviewing all of your faves. He is here for the first time on the sofa. I'm so gassed. He is a traveler. He, oh God, honestly, I'm so honored to have Mr. Jack Remington. Yay! How that are was, you, King? That was a right intro. Do you know, not gonna lie, I started my way through it, but we got yeah. there. A, a voice, <laughs> a, 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 a traveler. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah. Girl, you know I have a stutter. Uh, that's all right. Uh, Chad, you make me shy as well. I know. You've been making me shy of your fine self and your big blue eyes. <laughs> How are you though? Talk to uh, me. Well, you know. Good week? Uh, It's been an all right week. It's been a miserable week. It's been a miserable <laughs> week. <laughs> been... I, I've just realized the, like we were talking about it before, but like weather actually gets me so down. Like I forget, you know, the whole like SAD, like seasonal affective disorder yeah. or whatever. I kind of am like, yeah, like how bad can it be? And then we get winter in the UK and I'm like, it can be really bad. I yeah, am affected in the season and depressed. Like I was literally having a conversation with my manager and I was like, I need some vitamin D in me. Mm. Is that's the one from the sun, right? And I need some vitamin D and so, and so vitamin D. 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 From the sun. Yeah, from the sun. Yes, yes, yes. And honestly, from like, sun. The, from, <laughs> you ate Sorry. that. You ate, no, wait, 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 we need to roll that back. <laughs> we need to roll that back. You said, I need some vitamin D and some vitamin D. D. From the sun. And someone's son. You <laughs> ate that. You <laughs> ate that. You <laughs> ate that. <laughs> Wow, that was a good one. Mm. But yeah, seriously, it was foggy. Obviously, I live quite high up in it. Penthouse tees. I mean, mm. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't even, that's not even, so I can see the clouds. Yeah, this sounds your like head's so, in the clouds. I know that. This part. sounds like such a, this sounds like such a brag, but seriously, yeah. I could see, I could see um, the buildings and stuff usually. And I remember looking out and I could see nothing. Like the whole of my view mm. was just fog. Mm. And I was like, I'm so fed up of being in this country. Yeah. And I know that we saw that the UK is, according to this, um, no, there was a study the, that the came study out this week. <clears throat> that we are the second most miserable country is in it? the world. The se- number two, <sighs> number two. I believe it. To be honest, we should have been number one. We should have been number one. We should have got this number one. No, because seriously, you travel a lot. Yeah. Don't you feel so different when yeah. you are abroad yeah. to even here? Don't you feel like the energy of people like the- I, I think as well, there's like, people are nicer, mm-hmm. but I also realize I've got a, like a creator mate who's visiting me at the moment, the moment from America. And I feel a big difference between like the kind of content he can create and that we do is, mm-hmm everything here has to be so relatable to the point where you're being really self-deprecating sometimes because oh. if you are seen to be doing anything that is like slightly thriving it's like well who are you to be doing this in in this economy and how dare you do oh. like everything has to be so yeah i'm downtrodden too and we're all depressed don't yeah, worry true like it's all there, there can be i don't know i just feel like with american stuff at least there's like allowed to be a level of like- You're not allowed to flex here. Unattainable as an aspiration. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You're not allowed to flex here because they'll feel like you're doing too much. Yeah, you're showing off now. You're not relatable. Yeah. And, and relatable in a sense where it has to feel like we're all in this together. We're all suffering we're all together. We're struggling together. Every time, same thing. Every time I talk about money mm. or anything finance, even, yeah. an, even as a joke, even as yeah. a banter, people are so sensitive with it. And I get it because yeah. obviously, Economy is hard here. We yeah. in a car, yeah. we in a cast the libs, friend. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, God, let me just. But I just bought something I'm proud of. <laughs> yeah. You know, like <laughs> I'm quite proud that I I bought that yeah. uh, handbag. Yeah, but you like, shouldn't be. But 
in the UK, you're not allowed no, to no, be. No, no, no. Because it's like, why the f- why the f- cause she it just seems like she's I? just and you know remember when i don't know if you a, a, a youtube girly but when like you had when the girlies would have like their makeup oh, the whole stuff yeah and then there was the disclaimer at the beginning guys just want to let you know that you know before i do this i'm not bragging and i'm not going to be bragging but i'm just letting you know what i have but i'm not bragging brag by the way. girl you must Please brag. Brag. Yeah. yeah that's what i'm saying let us be inspired and yeah, aspire yeah, yeah. to get the collection yeah. and every video is like i just i just don't want to you know that's the thing though i think it's hard because i fall victim to it as well and i'm like oh i shouldn't do this i shouldn't post that but like it isn't every day relatable and it doesn't have to be and you're excuse me you're doing amazing please you've probably you, so you. you've traveled so much and i'm just like when are they gonna finally flew me out Every day brand flew out, brand flew out, <laughs> brand. I'm in, I'm in Texas. I'm on a ski slope. Okay, no hold em. I'm, I'm yeah. on a ski slope. I'm a, mm. you're always getting flewed out. I try. I can spell Prague. I just feel <laughs> like I, yeah, traveling is my thing. Like, I love it. And can I just say, I do love you and Ash's context when, content you. when you're abroad. Like, I, well, this is it yeah i remember when you guys were on a trip a ski trip mm, austria austria yeah. and you were at the counter <laughs> right you were on the counter with we the bought, woman we bought gloves just yeah. like normal skiing gloves because we realized they didn't have any mm-hmm. and in i don't know if this is the whole of austria speaks german or at least the part we were in it was like they was their language was german and the name for a glove came up on the till as finger hand shoe, but like in German, so it was like finger hand shoe. And we thought it was hilarious because why are we calling a glove a finger hand shoe? Finger hand shoe. I think different, different. Um, it was so little. Dialects, right? yeah. To be like, is yeah, it, of course it's a shoe it for your hand fingers rather than just a glove. I wish I did speak another language. Though. I tried to learn German back in the day. I did German at school. Did you do it as oh, well? Only to like, to like 14 or 15. I do Spanish now. In my Duolingo bag. You're in your Duolingo bag. Do you know what I tr- Come on, Duolingo. I tried to do. I tried to do Chinese you- and Duolingo. Wow. Ni hao ma. Why? Yeah, ni hao. Why? Why Chinese? Because do you know what? Yeah, I just had a new. F- like I you got ADHD. Oh. No, <laughs> I went to find me a Chinese man. No. Yeah. Yes, but no, but yes too. <laughs> if you if you Chinese ni hao ma. <laughs> but basically, I just wanted to learn a new language. I get it. And um. Obviously, China being a powerhouse, I was like, listen, when the Chinese come and dominate us, I would at least like to know the language so I have an advantage of you. So you can be bitches. submissive to the domination. I agree. Yeah. I think it is worth, it's a clever decision to yeah. learn Chinese. It was very- Not a decision I've made myself. <laughs> it is a whole nother world. The thought of a different No, alphabet. honestly, it's, 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 so, it's so different. And I feel like if I was to learn Chinese, mm. And then they took over, which to be honest, like they're, the way they're moving, yeah. like they're about to, you know, they could, they could take over. Mm. At least I could be the spokesperson for the community. Right. So do you know what I'm so saying? So you could like broker some deals with them as the face of- As the face of- Chinese speaking. Chinese speaking black woman. Brilliant. And that's, <laughs> that was, that was what I, I, what is, I wanted to do. That's a logical step actually. Thank you. I it think. was the best three weeks of my life. And now you're fluent. Yeah. Ni hao. Per. per. Ni hao oh, per, What's per Chinese for? It's just per. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the same but I, in Chinese yeah. and English. Ni hao ma. And then what else did I learn in Chinese? Mian. And that's noodles. Noodles. Okay. Yeah. That's helpful. Mian is noodles. Mian. Yeah. What else is that it? Wo ai ni. I love you. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, I'm intuitive. I have enough to. I have enough to stop to Traffic. stop the next war. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. No, because seriously, because all I need to be like is imagine. I love you, noodles. Hello. No, but ima- can you imagine like what else do you need? You're on the crossfire. Like people are debating, and you just hold someone's hand. You try the Chinese guy. You're just like No, not noodles. No, the other oh. one. War I need. I love you. You just tell him I love you. That's it. That's and enough the to drop a gun. Lower. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, That's no, you are right. To... You are right. <laughs> That's enough to stop the war. Like I don't know why people haven't thought of that before. They're not philosophical you, like who? me, honestly. I'm a philosopher. Yeah. Ambassador to China. Part time. Beijing Bay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. But have you got any other holidays uh, mm. books this year? I'm going to New York in two weeks okay fabulous um what are you doing out there we're gonna see Nicki minaj what day 
the 4th of April in Brooklyn because I went to her last tour in oh, Brooklyn. Oh, fabulous. <clears throat> and it just felt poetic. This was before the Meg scenario, but we're still going because I do look, I've seen a lot of the videos from the tour though. Have you seen any of the Nikki stuff? Yeah, I also saw- The way she's saw... doing up karaoke, but not even, anyway. It'll be fun to be in We got the rad vicinity. for mother. Always. I saw the beef that she had with the dancer. So, you know, high heels on, on my, my titties. titties. I can never unhear titties now, T- ever. <laughs> I, was, I was like, no, did I, I say know, it wrong? I know, no, I know it's titties, like, but I can't, like in my head, it's high heels on my titties. And I just imagine like, anyway, yeah. go on. <laughs> so she, um, what was the drama with the dance? So you basically, they used some of his dance. Uh, what, like a TikTok thing? Yeah. That he'd come up with and, and he in was the... just on the internet. Right, just, right, right. Just complaining and stuff about Fine. it. And he was like, he should have been compensated and whatever, Fine. whatever. But I, I that have- That often seems to happen nowadays though. I'm sure there was a thing with, I'm hesitant to say Beyonce because it might not have been, but there was basically like a lot of You're times- You're right, it was Beyonce. Was it? But the two girls, <clears throat> comp- the, there was two girls that, to you see star, that you Ah, uh, yeah, 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 fine. Those two girls that did that dance, right. they were like, oh, you know- they But they did, did get taken to a show in the end, right? I'm sure. I don't I don't know what happened, but I remember them thinking, I remember them saying like, we didn't even get show right. tickets and you right. lot are, we got the- But also like, I get it, but no one asked you to make that dance up, right? <laughs> Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like I'm that's sorry. on you. If you're gonna do a little one, two step and expect to be invited to the Oscars, like that is that is your delusion. Facts, facts. No, but TikTok be making people deluding. What are you gonna do now? Allegedly that they're gonna- Well, that it's America US- that it's gonna be a problem, right? I actually, I kind of at times wanna take a step back away from socials a little bit. So if I'm forced to, no skin off my nose. Really? Mm. Why? Because I just feel like, you know, people who don't work in socials and they're like, oh, I'm taking two weeks off. Sometimes I'm a bit envious of that. And I'm like, rather that, that would be nice. But I just feel like I can't because it's literally like anyone else in a normal job just being like, let me just cut my paycheck up to, for a fortnight. Do you know what I mean? That's true. I feel like it's that, I feel like even this holiday that I'm taking, mm. I was very nervous to take it because it's like, yeah. oh my God, like yeah. I'm taking two weeks off. I'm yeah. missing all these opportunities. Yeah. Cause you know, this industry is very last minute. Always. So you could book a holiday yeah. and then someone could call you up and be like, yo, like yeah. we've got this thing and you have to come next week. And it's 100%. like- 100%, Ash and I, so you know the whole like, if you've got a BA um, Amex credit card, you get like the companion voucher yeah. and that kind of thing. I've got one to use up by October. So Ash and I are booked to go to Bali for two weeks. So we've, we've like sorted the flights, but nothing else yet, September through to October. And even for that already, I'm anxious at the thought of like some huge opportunity is gonna come up in the, the end of September. And what do I do? You know what I mean? Yeah, you, it does got, happen. Like, at least if you're in quote unquote a norm, in a normal job, as long as you put in for holiday and they grant it you, you're not gonna miss anything because yeah. you've put in for the time off. Whereas with us, it's always balancing that thing of like, what's for the greater good kind of situation. My friends have definitely, it's hard to take time off. Been, what's the word? My friends have definitely, what's the word? My friends have, where, what am I saying here? If you keep repeating the same thing, maybe it'll come to you. My friends, my friends keep telling me, uh, uh, mm-hmm. my friends keep telling me, uh, uh, my friends keep, my friends, uh, my friends, uh, 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 my friends, uh, 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 my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends, yeah, yeah. I could do this all day. My friends, um, that was a joke. Stop now. My friends, my friends, my friends. Keep telling you what, I'm getting sick and tired now. suffered. There we go. Was the word you were waiting for suffered? I think so. My friends have suffered. We waited three hours for the word suffered. I know that is at the forefront of your mind at all times. Come on. My friends have suffered because- I'm I'm actually gonna have to go. I can't be doing this. I'm not waiting 10 minutes for you to say a word at a time. ADHD, 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 ADHD. Yeah. No, my, basically my relationship with my friends have suffered. I missed the word. Right. I missed the word, sorry. Christ. I'm sorry. Should we get ADHD, a dictionary ADHD, just in case it happens again? ADHD. Um, my mm. relationship with friends have suffered because I'll that. be like, oh, yeah. um, one week, can we meet on a Wednesday? And I'm like, yeah, we can meet on Wednesday. Yeah. Girl, what you doing? I'm agreeing with you. But I haven't even finished the sentence. Why are you saying yeah, because, yeah? <laughs> because what you're, because I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Slash, yeah. I'm hoping I know what you're gonna say. Like, I'm tired. Yeah, wait, wait. Jack was like, my friend, yeah. No, yours, right, let me guess. <laughs> yeah. You were gonna say, 
my yeah. relationship with my friends are suffering. Yeah. Because yeah. you're saying, yeah, yeah, absolutely fine. I'll get to Wednesday. And then on the Tuesday, I'll be like, oh shit, I'm so sorry. I can't anymore. Exactly. It Thank wasn't you. hard to mind read that situation. <laughs> All I had was my Pythagoras <laughs> theorem, is it? My God, I can <laughs> see the cogs in your brain turning very <laughs> slowly. My I've already read three <laughs> books mentally in this time. <laughs> Jack said, I said, my friend, yes. Yes, I understand. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> ni hao. <laughs> anyway, ni hao. Who the fuck told me? was me now. I'm so jealous. I do want to go to New York mm. though. I'm going to New York just after you. Right. I'm going to New York just after you. And I want to go because I just want to, again, see new people. Yeah. I want to- It's a um, nice time of year to be in New York as well. Like, exactly, like, oh, exactly. Yeah. Starting to warm up a bit. Yeah. I have a lot of audience in New York and I just kind of want to experience it before. Even I wanna, before? I have been before, yeah. but I've been before like five years ago. Fine. And- Oh, when you were clapped. When I was clapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was, before my rebrand, <laughs> before my before my sexy rebrand. Listen, honestly, no, we were, we were talking about- I mean, I have to qualify that by no, saying- No, 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 because- We were talking about that before. It's not yeah. just me going, yeah, my God, you were clapped. Out of context, out of context. You like, were you, minging you, five years ago. <laughs> you were rotten. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> Great time. No, we, um, we were talking about- um, You just decided, you woke up one day and said, I will no longer suffer. Word, yes. So let's remember that one. Yeah. With being clapped. That's it. I literally and wake up works. one day. Look at you now. Because because people, I've been really, you know, trying to, you know, level up my looks, mm. level up my hair. You know, mm. if you know me, you know I'm Joycey from the block. Right. <laughs> Jenny from the block, Josie from the block. That's me. We got that. Yeah, yeah. Thank oh, you, sorry. Yeah. Did I have to explain? Sorry. I mean, for the people who didn't no. understand. Right, right. For the people that didn't just understand. presume, I know what's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. But for those who don't understand, we can put subtitles on. Okay. <laughs> <a link. laughs> okay. Cool. Sorry. Anyway. Sorry. <clears throat> sorry. I was just trying to help those who are less knowledgeable. On your level. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being the shade queen right no, now? Sorry, sorry. Why are you being the shade queen right now? <laughs> but yeah, now I forgot my what I was going to say. Was I Joycey from the block. Don't be fooled by the rocks that you've got. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. There we go. But I'm trying to, you know, level up level on my up appearance. Pulse, yeah. And I just I just decided and I was like, I just want to be sexy. But it's worked. That's my point. We're, we've finally got to a compliment, which yeah. is that you look great. And Thank you. Doing well. But so. you look sexy as well. But you're always sexy. Have you always been a fine boy? No. I was minging at school. Was you actually? Yeah, I was minging. Um, and I was a dickhead as well. Really? Yeah, I was awful at school. So nothing's changed then? At all. <laughs> also, you lipses me in the bar. Um, Why do you... <sighs> what, go on. Say what you want to say. You really wanted to say that on the podcast, didn't you? What? You just you were just dying to say it. That I was minging or that you were clapped. <laughs> no, no. Oh. That we lips. Oh, that you... that we no, li I was saying we could lips in that bar, okay, but no, we I are. wasn't going to talk about oh, we're not oh. when we lips oh. in the bar. Okay, right. Anyway. So anyways. Moving on. Moving on. No. Okay. I, I knew you was going to, you was waiting actually, to show that story. I actually wasn't. No, you was dying. You wanted to let everyone. Okay. Yes. Me and Jack had a drink and I. But also it let, it, let it be known. It was in this era of you. I wouldn't have lipsed you when you were clapped. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very, very mother <laughs> much. Me and Jack. So I think, I don't think I've ever told, I, I don't mind telling the story. Right. Just let's not. Let's not get get anyone else involved because sure. that was a hot mess. <clears throat> okay. So we went to the box. Yeah. And um, I don't know what the f that was. A time was had. A time was had. Yeah. So the box is a club in London, right? And it's like underground, mm. and it's you wouldn't really know it was there unless you. You wouldn't it was know there it was there. Like it's center of Soho, but the door looks like the door from The Hobbit. You know, the big, like, yeah, the big, it's not a normal, like, you chamber know, like doors. X O Y. I was like, here's a sign saying X O Y. Like, it's not, do you know what I mean? It's very discreet. Yeah. You go downstairs and there's like all these ladies who are like serving you and um, all these, like, who did I see? Were there drag queens there? Yeah, they're drag queens. Yeah, yeah. there's drag a bit queen, of everything. Yeah, a bit of everything, bit of every flavor, right? So we're in the box, we're sitting down and they have these shows, mm. right? So, there was a drag queen on the stage and <laughs> she... You got a particularly, I will say like, I've been quite a lot before because Ash used to work there a lot. So yeah. I go all the time. And they have a variation of levels, I would say of like extremity of certain shows. Yeah. You already being fearful for your life in that space and being like, what are they gonna bring out on stage? Were in for quite a shock because then they did, they went, 
10 out of 10 in terms of the drama level it of was the show dra- that it night. Was, it Whereas- was mad. <clears throat> it was mad. I was already drunk. We were all on a table drinking, having a good time. The music was bumping. It the was show great. started. It, it was, was great. It was such good vibes. Yeah. Me and Jack were in the corner lips in somewhere. <laughs> then the show started and there was this um, drag queen on the stage mm. and Are you going to say it? No, yeah, I'm going to go on, go on, say go on, it. Go on, go on. So she had a pizza and she was dancing with the pizza and it was supposed to be quite comical. So she wasn't a sexy drag queen. No, she wasn't. She was a fun, like it was like very like slapstick. Yeah. Imagine like you three years ago. Right? Girl. Girl. (laughs) I'm getting my lick back. (laughs) I'm 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 gonna get my lick back. I'm gonna get my mother lick back for that one. Don't worry, it's your, yours is loaded. Love you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she had a pizza, mm. and then she but- sh- on the pizza. <laughs> like she actually, she opened her bum, <laughs> sh- on the pizza, and then ate the pizza. I don't, I don't think it was actual poo though. No, but it came out from her bum. It did, but I think it was just like a loaded like chocolate pudding that was ready to No, be but released. even that, that doesn't help because it's like <laughs> who, so did you inject the chocolate pudding in your bum cheeks before the show for you to release, for you to then release it onto, like, I'm telling you, I, it's you me, were gagging. me, Jack, shits and gigs. <laughs> Ash was there. Ash was there. Yeah. We were, the girls bathroom, what were watching this pizza, this guy, <laughs> on the pizza and eaten the sh- off the pizza as in he opened his bum cheeks like he spread his bum cheeks sh- on the pizza <laughs> and then ate it and what and the figures when as he ate it the 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 curtains closed that was the phenomenal and everybody's looking at each other like what the f- <laughs> everyone's looking at each other like what i could the f- not stop like, looking at you there because no because you look like you'd seen the Holy Ghost. And I think I screamed when she when, when <laughs> she did. ate. I screamed. I said, ah! <laughs> and I was looking at everyone, and everybody was just in disbelief as what we just watched. And it was the first time James and Fu had been there. It as was well, the first time we were all there. Yeah, it was the first time any of you had been. And we'd heard about the box, the box, the box. So we were like, yeah, 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 it's gonna yeah. be a time. Let's go. Yeah. And it was a time, but that <laughs> show, we were all like, we were all like, what the hell? What the heck? What the hell was that? What the freaking heck? Honestly, it's still to this day one of the most disturbing. Yeah, it, it was the one of the most yeah. disturbing things I watched. I've seen in real life, and we were close up as well. We were, we on, were we the had a good. We had a, we were the closest table. We, we had close. a good. They had. They said, "Oh yeah, this gigs. Yeah, gigs is coming. Put them at the front." Yeah. So it was at the front table. We were one sniff away from chocolate pudding. Honestly, <laughs> that's how they spread, squatted, and then like literally spread his, spread her cheeks, squatted, and then and I was like, girl. And then back to lips in. And then back to lips in. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been really shaken Back to up. lips in. But honestly, I prefer actually um, clubbing. In. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer clubbing <laughs> abroad than yeah. in the UK. I also think that there's, there's, I just feel more like freer when I'm away. Facts. Because also there's not the worry, not like I don't have beef with anyone, but I love, I love meeting new people. So Mm -hmm. even like through lockdown, my biggest thing, not even in a romantic way, but like was just being in bars. Like that's what I missed. Mm -hmm. Being in bars, chatting to people, meeting new people, being in smoking areas. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like also particularly with America as British people, because they love our accents. Yeah. You get into great conversations with Americans because they're just like, oh my God, where are you from? You know what I mean? Like they just love imitating it and And stuff. And I love them too. There is, yeah, there is joy to be had going out elsewhere. Hot topics of the week, baby. So let's move on to hot topics. We have data shows marriage rates are up and divorce rates are down. After COVID lockdown, studies have found that 2022 was a year of marriages. The numbers of marriages took a dive around the start of the pandemic in 2020. Of course, it would take a dive because nobody was allowed to get married. Nobody was allowed to get married. (laughs) The numbers of marriages took a dive, but the rates started to climb up. The next year resulting in higher rates than expected. Um, divorce rates are actually declining, which may be due to couples forced to work through their issues when they were stuck together in lockdown. Yeah. I was going to say, I wonder if also like 
if no one's got any money, then you kind of just stuck having to stay together. Yeah, because how are you going to pay for the divorce? Right. This is why I think it's just easier to stay single. Are you not planning on marriage? <laughs> no. Talk to me, why is that? As in, no, I don't mind. Like I'm very, Ash always says this to me about like, we were roasting each other at New Year and saying like what our ins and outs were for the year. And her one for me was like, I at least need to be open to love. <laughs> because I'm just very like, I don't know. I just, I'm so, I love my own company. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm, I know relationships are about compromise, but a lot of the time I'm just like, I don't want to make that compromise. I want to just do what I want to do. Yeah. I don't even mean that in a like sex and dating way. I just mean in general at all. Like I haven't got it all figured out for myself yet. So I don't want to like have to pin that on someone else and everything. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever been in love? No. <sighs> Why? <laughs> I thought, uh, first of all, I thought I was the love of your life, but this is sad to hear. I would say I'm, I am in love with you. Let's say that. Okay. But I don't know how practical that is. Why? Because you're always in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I could bring you with me. Yes, I I would love to go to Nigeria with you. Honestly, actually. you would- We would have a time. We would have a time. <laughs> Nigeria would be imagine? so cool. No, we need to make it happen. Okay, actually, let's go then. Or I've South, or South Africa. Go. I love South Africa. South Africa or Nigeria. I've been dying to take Ash to Cape Town. No, this I'm year. Of it. Do you know what? This year, December, I'm doing South Africa. No, seriously. I was going to take Ash to South Africa last December and we ended up going elsewhere. So maybe you be, be serious. No, swear, swear, swear. Be we were so close serious, to going to New Year. Because we're all year. going. We okay. are all going. To South okay. Africa is the vibe this year. I love South Africa. I'm ready for it. I'm a piano. I'm a pee pee. Oh my God, I love it. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited. But I'm surprised like you've never been in love before. What, like mm. what's going on? I just, I don't know. I'm not someone who's really ever that bothered about a relationship. Like I'm not against the idea, but I'm not someone who Cause you're having spends too much my fun. spare time being like, let me go on dates. Like I'm not on apps. Or you're having too much fun. No, but you really live single life to the fullest though. Yeah, I do. I feel like, because I'm such a lover girl, I feel like there's certain things that I can't do outside of a relationship. Fine. Whereas I have Ash. That's we, true. We honestly just do a lot of things. Like we go on all the holidays and stuff that mm -hmm. people would go on in relationships and yeah. couples. We just do it as us two and just cosplay as married. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have a friend like that then. Yeah. I need to have someone that I could pretend is the love of my life, is my boyfriend. We can do that. We can We actually can. I mean, you're my boyfriend already. You're my husband. Yeah, too. We so, need to actually, we need to do, we need to do a trip. We need to do something. We would actually eat on a trip. I think we'd eat on a trip. We should take bay, like bay pictures, like mm. bikini pictures. And you look, you look so good. Like, not in a bikini. No, not in a bikini, <laughs> but I mean like, I'm wearing the bikini. Like I, I met Swim, Swim, Jesus Christ. <laughs> nah, you, you have been really, you've been too slick with it today, you know? Mm. You, but nah, mm. honestly, sometimes when I be looking at your pictures, I'm like, <sighs> You, the, it's the biceps or triceps. So you have, mm. when you do your gym- My little vest Your little, situation. it's the vest situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's the vest situation for me with the biceps or the triceps. Your body has been bodying. I've been late. trying. Your, Which, um, why are you saying of lately? Like before it was like, are we going back to the three years? No, no, we're not. Versus? And that, that was obviously all do? a joke anyway. You've always been beautiful. Thank you, daddy. You've just been extra beautiful. Do you know like, what it is? And I keep saying it, since I've come back from Nigeria, <laughs> My energy has yeah. been different. Obviously, you know, I went on that hot mess of a show. We won't talk about it. The, the, the show that we had, I suffered mm. for our lives, mm. right? Keep smiling, keep shining. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that show. I feel like since then, I've had this like, after that decline to, to, to the hell, to the pits of hell, I've risen up and turned into Phoenix. You have. Because it's like, when I went to Nigeria, like I felt so much sexier there. But even in your like stories and stuff from when you were there, you could tell that. Yeah, the you energy was different. Like... I was wearing, I was wearing clothes I would never usually wear. And you look so good. I was wear, wearing string. Yeah. I was showing them the back rolls. Yes. I was showing them the tongue. And that's not, and honestly, I'm not that girl. Right. I'm not that girl. Like see how- But I, maybe you are. It's just that you've been dampened yeah. by the UK. I don't I think it's that you're not that girl. I, I wasn't confident enough. No, no. I wasn't confident enough. But honestly, I was having a time. But can I just say, yeah, sadly, this is so mm. random because I'm thinking about my close friends, yeah. You see, let me tell you something, yeah. If you're going to add me to the close friends, can you make sure your close friends is popping? 
Why did you have it to your close friends and you're having a cup of tea? This is it, dinners. Dinners. I don't care. Show me your <laughs> <laughs> Close friends. <laughs> That's my thing, right? I always say, if you're gonna add me to your close friends, show me your. Show me. Your That's all I care about. Show me the. Show me the undercover stuff. Show me the real stuff. Why the f are you gonna add me to your close friends and you're and you're having dinner it's with your scone. family? Yeah, and, wait, what's that got to do with me? <laughs> day in the day Take in the me life. out of it. Or you give me the tea. Yeah, agreed. It's either you show me your tea or you start to spill the tea. Where well, you yeah. get it all of mine. Yeah. Oh, the ante. Not gonna lie. <laughs> You see, Jack's close friends is one of the best things. Jack could be in, Jack, wait, wait, wait. This is, there's two, there's two types of um, close friends that I get from you. Okay. The first one, which I love, mm. is that you'll be at a brand thing. Yeah. You'll be like, you'll do your stories. You'll be like, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> day in the light. Wait, what do you, oh yeah. At this brand event with yeah. da, 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 da. Yeah. And you'll just kind of like, do the normal like PR mm. stuff. And then you're doing your close friends like, guys, this is f***ing hell. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this, guys, this event is f***ing um, hell. At any brands, this is obviously a joke. Um, <laughs> we Joyce is making brand. this up to views. Um, and I'm going to let her because she needs the clicks and engagement and stuff. But this is all about. <laughs> I'm telling you. I promise you. I was like, girl, it's so funny. And then you have the second type, mm. which is somebody's breast. Ash's breast. Ash's breast for the most part. Ash's yeah. for the most part. <laughs> and then you have different alternates. So sometimes we have oh, a yeah. different we feature. Cycle, we cycle in. Yeah, we might have mm -hmm. a little surprise feature of, oh, somebody else's tits Tit is today. constant. It's just who's tits tit. is, yeah. Tits is constant. Great breasts as well. You've never put you've never put a bad breast in, in the in the All my friends have great breasts. You've never put a bad breast in the in, no. the, in the close friends. But I'm not gonna lie, you have like literally the best close friends ever. Like you make me want to step up my close friends. I think you have recently. No, because I'm glad I see to know yours. It's because of, of you. Obviously, <laughs> I, you ain't gonna see my now. You won't not see on my close friends. friends. Not on close. Not on close. That's what I'm saying. Close for. friends, yeah, daddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not on close friends, but I have been a bit more naughtier and a bit more fun on close friends. And I've noticed. I've been trying. Yeah. Because you know what? You've been yeah. Shaking that thing on close friends. I, I don't have you. But do you know what it is? Yeah. I'm happy that close friends is an option mm. because sometimes like you want to do fun stuff and you want your people to see it on socials, yeah. but because you're in the media, you now have to be a lot restricted with how you do things and I stuff. Agree. So I'm glad I can do a little naughty, naughty, naughty party on the But group. I also think there's two types of people as to what they use their close friends for, because there's, I know a lot of, some people I like, get added to their close friends and it's just them doing like thoughty pics for attention in terms of they basically made a close friends of like people that they want to sleep with. Whereas that's okay. so not what my close no, friends No, that's not about. my close. I mean, I do bring the, the hoochie daddies are in, the, are in the close friends. Are they? The hoochie daddies are in the close but friends. That's, I think that's good for you because you have this balance of like, yours is chaos, but not too chaos. Like you yeah. still always look fit. Whereas I look clapped in mine. No, but I'd be looking clapped actually. Mm. No, you don't. No, I don't, no. Because not the hoochie like, daddies are like there. Not like you did. We need to, do you know what we need? We. Oh I hate how it took me a while to process that. I know, that. it's the fact that he laughed and about 10 seconds later you go, oh, the pennies actually just dropped. Okay, cool, yeah, no problem. You're too quick for me. <laughs> You're too quick for my, 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 my mental health, my mental, my mental health disorder. And I don't like the, that. The point is, you're there now. So we can joke about the past. Okay, yeah. I was clapped in the past too. Okay, but well, I need to see your photos because the thing is you've seen me clapped i need to see yours so that we can we can have this fair. a fair playing field right, right now i got my i got invisalign through lockdown which changed my face a lot i used to have about 65 too many teeth through my mouth i look like a horse no honestly can i just say there was a girl on tiktok and she was asking what was your best investment and someone stitched it and she said my teeth yeah 100 percent. i swear to god my Agreed. teeth was the best money that I've spent in my life. We my teeth clapped. so clapped. Were they? <laughs> they weren't super clapped. I'm gonna see yours and then we're no, gonna mine, compare. So mine were always straight. They just, I just had two, my mouth was just crowded. Let me see. Because we can compare each other's teeth. They're quite long. 
<laughs> they're quite they, they were quite they long they were long they were long my and it's mad because mine is the opposite i had baby teeth that were very short right and i had a proper so you've had extensions yeah i had a, had an extension and i had a proper gummy smile as same, well same 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 that was my biggest issue no but your gum your gummy mm. smile is not as bad as mine are you well why are you smiling like that as well <laughs> <laughs> that is what my this is what I'm saying. Like jump scare. Yes, like, jump scare. That's my point. You look so different though. Yeah, I know. Oh, look at Ash's think... your screensaver. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. oh God, I need someone to love me, guys. Seriously. I I think I did the same thing as you. I just, in terms of like, one day I must have just made a commitment to being like, I actually refuse to be clapped anymore. Facts. I just don't think I did it as clearly in my head. Whereas you have a pivotal moment where you like, I actually can't do this anymore. I don't I think it was pivotal. Okay, fine. I don't think it was, it I just, think it was progressive. Okay, I fine. think I made the decision that day that I don't want to be clapped. But, but the then, actual progress to not being clapped didn't happen overnight. It didn't yeah. happen overnight. You no. have to progress. Cause funny enough, oh my God, I was even showing some of the outfits. Cause you know, I've been trying to do this fashion girly thing, but I, some of the outfits, I'm just mm. like, girl, like, why did you come out wearing that? Like, I, like literally this, and do you know what's mad yet? This was last year. This was the outfit, I'm gonna put it up. And I wore it to LA. What is this outfit? What is this? <laughs> oh my God. What? Sorry, what? I'm like three stone. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like two stone heavier. It's not about that. It's the tabernacle skirt. That's <laughs> the problem. As in, <laughs> as in, that looks like tasseled you skirt. have removed a tire from someone's car and, and cut me. it up and donned it. I don't know what the, and the hat that, it didn't fit, it didn't fit me. So it was just balancing on my head. God, no, it's really bad. I'm going to put it up. The skirt. The skirt is hell. And the slippers. <laughs> <laughs> I look like such an auntie. I look like such an auntie. Which is. <sighs> no, I was in my auntie era. I don't give a fuck. Where was that skirt from? I don't know. Hell. I think, it, I, think it, I think it was River Island reduced. I think I saw it on River Island and it they was- They should have oh, paid you to have worn that. No, that honestly, it was terrible. And that's, girl, that's Rodeo Drive. Like, what was I doing walking down Rodeo Drive in that outfit? Thinking I was busy, asking my manager to take pictures of me. I'm surprised people didn't come to you and give you money. <laughs> <laughs> that no, the outfit- Poor girl, out poor girl, please. No, seriously, here's here. Here's a dollar. Go, go and here's buy another. Some, get something, girl. Go and buy, buy something. <laughs> Look after your good self. Go no, buy some No, seriously. Fries. Can you imagine? This conversation was all about uh, marriages. But I want to get married. We should get married. We could get married. Do you know um, some people are like, oh, if by, um, yeah, 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 by yeah, the yeah. time I'm yeah. 30. Um, so do you know what my big thing with this was? Um, I read an article maybe like a good five years ago and it was two British girls. Mm -hmm. um, who they're both uh, black British girls actually. And they both had, they were best friends. They both had um, boyfriends that they had a baby with around mm -hmm. similar times. And then the around similar times, both the dads left the women okay. and they were like, well, shit. like we, we were in these houses separately with mm -hmm. our one child and it was with the baby daddy. How do we maintain the same quality of life yeah. for our kids? So the mum, the women moved in together, not oh, in lovely. a romantic relationship, just as friends, and kind of co-parented their kids together, and was saying how amazing that experience was. And I just think that is such a nice way. Like I always think this with the same thing I say about Ash. Like we've never fallen out. All we do is have a better and better relationship every single time I see her and every single time I talk to her. So why would you not want to bring a kid up in that? When over fifty percent of marriages end in divorce nowadays, anyway, you've got almost like a better chance of raising a kid child with love in that situation. You know what, yeah, I feel like platonic relationships yeah. are so underrated. Correct. And That's I what feel I'm like always banging on about. We put so much pressure on romantic relationships. 100%. And I feel like we leave platonic relationships to mm. dwindle in our lives. And also if you get into a romantic relationship so often that just means your platonic relationships fall by the wayside. Woo! <sighs> mm. Let's not talk about that. Not for me. Because you have your friends, that's your G, that's your bestie. Until they're not. Until you, the, your man of two weeks now comes and your bestie of five, 10 years, yeah. who is she? Yeah. We don't know her. No. And I think it's so sad yeah, because I was like that in my childhood years, right. but I have found so much value and so much importance in my friendships more than my relationships because my best friend TK, I've known him since I was four years old. 
four years old. My other best friend, Tana Lee, I've known her since I was 13, 14 years old. Mm. With all the with all the boys that have come and gone, these two friends have remained in my life. They yeah. have stayed. Yeah. Like, every time a heartbreak has come or I've thrown someone in the bin, me and Tan have never beefed. Me and Tan have never had a fight. Me and TK, we beef one time. <sighs> We beef one time. But we don't talk about it now. But we don't talk about it's fine. it. So you didn't really beef. We didn't really beef. That and that's those are my people. And those are the people that will, that they're there for me. They mm. got my back. They'll ride for you. So yeah, I feel like a lot of people, we put a lot of like importance and pedestal on boyfriend, boyfriend, 100%. husband, 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 100%. husband. But some of our friendships are I would I would be for that. Yeah. I think that's so great. Yeah. So they they raised their like platonic relationship, but they raise, raise their kids together and they're almost basically the kids are like sisters. And the mums, I guess, both stepped up to kind of play as much as possible of like mum and dad, i.e. like two parents, you know, when one can't take them yeah. or whatever. And yeah, of course there will be downsides to that situation. Of, of course, like, disadvantages, you know, yeah. There, whatever. However, surely that's better than being raised in a house where the parents hate each other, surely. Agreed. And and honestly, being a being a single mother is already hard as it is. Right. So having, having that support. Having that support. Mm. Like I, I am so for that, you know. Mm. I am so for that. There are a lot of washed out fathers, unfortunately. Yeah. So I'm glad that those two were like, listen, your baby daddy ain't shit, my baby daddy ain't shit. Let's buck it. let's move it together. Let's move it together. I do want to be married. Yeah. I feel like I'm I don't feel the pressure. I don't feel the pressure of marriage, sure. which I'm so happy because as a woman, like, you know, when you get to a certain age and they're like, oh, marriage, mm-hmm. where's your boyfriend? Mm-hmm. I don't feel so pressured. And in fact, Good. I'm really enjoying, um, I'm really enjoying taking my time with just life generally, yeah. with kids, with having a husband, things like that. And I think more so having kids, I'm not ready to have kids anytime no. soon, please. Same. After ch- even Charlie, I was just like, girl, this guy, this boy started vomiting today. And I was thinking, should I take him to the hospital? But then I had to interview Davina McCall. Thing, yeah. So I ended up taking him to Shia's house because he felt a little bit better. But it was like, if that was, you know what I mean? Like, if that was a child, like, right. and like you have, there's Your so much self sacrifice. Your yeah, whole yeah, life yeah. changes. You can't but just. I think it's okay also to say, like, I don't know where we're at. <laughs> not you and me together, but mm, we can about be. like wanting kids or whatever. But I think it's so, I don't think it's selfish at all for someone to go, yeah, I've decided full stop. I don't want kids because I don't want to have to make that self-sacrifice. That yeah. life isn't all just about sacrifice. Yeah. Like it's absolutely fine. If you want to have kids, brilliant and you know, amazing. I'm not saying don't have children, but it's this weird thing, particularly for women of like, it's an expected thing that yeah. your life equals sacrifice. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to. I agree. I definitely agree. And I feel like, Someone who is self-aware to know that. Mm. Listen, I'm in my selfish era. Someone who is self-aware to know that they're in their selfish era yeah. is better than people who feel the societal pressure of having yeah. a child and then bring them up and then fling them in the bin. Yeah. Or they bring the child up and they're just like, well, you know, best of luck. Or yeah, they yeah, leave. Yeah. Or, or I know girls that, you know, they, they can't cope and then they-, they It's more it. selfish to have kids when you're not properly ready to ready, have kids, yeah. than to declare beforehand and say, nah, I'm actually in my selfish year, I'm not gonna have kids. That's far better. I, I 100% agree, I 100% agree. So yeah, I don't feel I don't feel no pressure. I don't feel Good. no pressure for marriage and stuff. I'm really, try- I'm, in, I'm really enjoying my singleness a lot more. Good. I am a hoochie mama, mm-hmm. dating, experiencing different people, being treated well. Yeah. Having a good time. Good. You a hoochie daddy. Yes. You are, you are an OG hoochie daddy though. <clears throat> I've been. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying myself. Yeah. And I love that for us. I How really, really do. I really, really do. But it's, yeah, I'm, gl- I'm kind of glad that divorce rates are going down. I also feel like. As long as it's for the right reasons though. And it's for, not just because yeah. people are trapped money wise. If yeah. it's actually just a, like, yeah, we're happier. And maybe almost that thing of like, it was marriage rates were down for a while. So there was a pause on people being like, actually, do I want to do this? Mm-hmm. And then as long as they've, the marriage's rates have gone up because it's people being like, nah, I actually do want to do this rather than just like a return to, f- to normal. You know what I mean? I f- 
agree. I hundred percent agree. But I want to move on. I want to actually talk about the Jack and Ash show. Mm, so do I. Can I just say a big congratulations? Thank you. Like, unfortunately, I was unable to come to I the know, show. No. And guess why? Because of my dog. I know. And mm-hmm. no, people don't need. To, people need to understand. Like, you can't just bust out and leave like you used to. When you have a puppy. Mm-hmm. You can't just bust out the crib. Like sometimes, like for, it really took me a while to register that I have a puppy because I could wear my clothes. I could do my lashes, do everything, carry my bag and just, and as I'm walking out, I'm hearing footsteps behind me. I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> sh- oh I have a child. <laughs> oh, sh- you, you was here. And I'm like, what? Like, seriously, I've really had to adapt with yeah. before I do anything, before I go out, there's someone that needs to make, I need to make sure that they're okay, that they're, that they've, they have um, somewhere to go right. or they have somewhere to come to the house to look after. My brother's been amazing. He comes to the house to look after him. But my God, so that day, mm. the person I was supposed to look after him canceled last minute. So it was just me and him. And I felt like because of, it was a theater and this guy, he likes to start crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and singing as well. Yeah. Did you sing? It sounded like it then. Oh, was that a bit vocal? <laughs> no, seriously, yeah, it's, nice. it's like a whale. It's right. like a. <laughs> Dale. Dale. Yeah, no, yeah, so I get it. You I loved wanna... it. You really enjoyed it. It was fun. Honestly, it was like, yeah, we've just been gassed with the What was the funniest part of the show? Like, what was the best part for you? So we went to Finland. Fi- so we filmed. Finland. We- Finland. Uh, we went in like October last year. So- um, and yeah, it basically just came about because weirdly, I was messaged by the tourism board of Finland and we're basically like, we'd love for you to come out to Finland and see what it's like. Okay. Um, and I was like, well, if I'm getting flued out, we might as well take a production company with us and like, because like you said before, there's always so much chaos whenever we travel. Facts. So it was like, why would we not, rather than just like us with our phones on 0.5 times zoom above Ash's head, why don't I get an actual camera crew? Um, so he took a crew with us and yeah, it's been sick. Like if nothing else, it's just been so nice to like professionally document us having such an amazing time. But it's leading to loads of brilliant conversations about like a season two and further traveling and stuff. And it's just nice, I think in a professional way to highlight what we're capable of doing in terms of like the hosty presenty yeah. kind of vibe between us both. So what's your, what would your next destination be? We went to the West coast of Mexico. Sick. New year before last, Puerto Vallarta. And that was probably the best place we've been. So if, if it was someone we've already been maybe there, I'm desperate to take it to Cape Town. Honestly, we so nearly went this new year. I can't lie. It is. Oh. South Africa, we should do it. Yeah, we should. We should do Jack and Ash. Yeah. And I'll just make a small feature like yeah, tits or, out with the close friends or something like give him some, <laughs> just give him something. I just want I, I just want to be a part. But you know I'm so proud of you. Thank I don't you. think people ha- realize how hard it is to produce your own content. Right. Like it's it's amazing when the camera is set up right. and you get to be a personality. But the whole process of finding a right. production company, right. writing, scripting, and I think also people, if you're not in the industry, sometimes just think like oh great, that must all have been orchestrated by the people around them. And Mm -hmm. it's like, you only get, no one's gonna advocate as much for your things as you are for yourself. Facts, facts, facts. And I actually, I've got a lot of that mindset from you, actually, I will say like after the Barbie premiere when we were all at Greek Street, and talking about your live show, Ash and I were both so impressed by you just being like, well, I just was like, yeah, there's these brands that I liked working with and I was putting on a show. So I was like, do you want to be involved or not? And I think it's honestly, like, I think I respect that so, so much about you. Oh, baby. Because I think I've really got to a point now with being in the industry for ages of just like, it's not deluded to believe in like, A, believe in yourself and B, if you don't ask, you don't get. Like, it's not Facts. hurting anyone. You're not saying give me this money or else. It's just... By the way, I've got a really nice relationship with you. I love working with you. Here's what you can get out of this partnership. It's not just a one-way thing. Facts. It it took a long time for me to get to that without being like, oh my God, this is so cringe. I can't believe people, what if they say no? Okay, the worst that's gonna happen is they say, no, thank you, not mm-hmm. at this time. Fine. And the best I is love that, that, you know? So yeah, I think I've really got to that point of just like, also telling people what you're up to. Like so many times at events, I've probably fumbled the bag before because 
like PR type people will say, oh, what are you up to at the moment? And rather than actually telling them and them then knowing that there's a potential opportunity for us to work to, they'll go, oh, you know, the same old, just really busy. Rather than like, well, we hosted this thing last week. I'm doing this interview this week after. Yeah. I've got this presenting thing after so that then in future, if they've got a hosting thing that comes up, they'll they can think go, of you. oh, yeah. well, he does hosting now and he's good at it and I really get on with him. And that has completely changed the game for me in terms of the opportunities that I get. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Dear. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, your subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I love just and talking about what you're be doing. Be your own CV. 100%. Do you know what it is about? The, I think it's a UK UK conservative thing. 100%. They don't, people don't shout about themselves Fake enough. humility. Yes. Can we can we actually kill yeah. fake humility? Yeah. yeah. Because you can be you can be humble, but mm. not to the point where you're diminishing and your I've success. Always, always, always say this. I think if all things are considered, if you had a British person and an American person going for the same job interview, take away the accent thing, because sometimes, you know, charming, blah, blah, blah. The American would get it over the Facts. British person every Facts. single time because Facts. they know how to sell themselves. Facts. Even even down to like Britain's Got Talent versus America's Got Talent or X Factor versus an American singing show, whatever. If you as a Brit go on and Simon Kyle says, do you think you've got what it takes? And you go, yeah, I do. You're a cocky dad. Yeah. But if you don't say in America, yeah, I think I do. They'd be like, well, you don't have the confidence then. You're too shy. You need to come back next time. It is worlds apart. You're speaking. Like worlds apart. Even on Drag Race UK versus US, yeah. you have to be self-confident in America. On the UK one, obviously RuPaul is American, but sometimes it's a weird culture clash because the British drag queens go on, are self-deprecating and like diminish themselves. And Ru's like, well, you're not ready then, you're going home. Whereas any other program in the UK, it's like, oh, we'll root for the underdog because they don't believe in themselves. Let's get them out of the cocoon. And like, why can you not shout about yourself? There's a you're big difference between cockiness and confidence. <laughs> You're spitting. You're spit. Nah, mm. do you know what? It's a, it's definitely a UK it thing. It is. And, it's and like, it keeps us all down. It doesn't help anyone. And the thing is, funny enough, even talking about British TV um, and the conversations that you have here on X Factor. Yeah. We love an underdog. We love someone that feels sorry for themselves. Yeah. Oh, when I was six years old, my mummy, right. she didn't believe in me. Right. And I just want to come and shine. Like and why should you have had to have had, you know, obviously it's awful if, someone's passed away or an illness of or whatever, course. of course it is, but you sh that shouldn't be a prerequisite of why people should why give a great. shit about your talent. Period. Yeah. You should be good at what you should, people should give a shit about what you do because, because you're, you're good great at what you do. and because you know you're great. Yes. And it's so annoying because you come into space, the problem is when you come into the UK mm. and you come confidently. Particularly the more marginalized your identity is as well. Like you're above your station. Yeah. <clears throat> You mother ate that. But they want to try so and stomp shit. you down, and it's so, mm. it's so, shit and it's so, it's so annoying because then you feel like you have yeah. to dim your light. Yes. But I, but but what I would say is exactly what you said is about doing it to the right people. Yeah. And to be honest, not giving a f right, not giving a. F if you can, if somebody's asking you, imagine there's a PR person, for yeah. example, or there's somebody in your in your company um, that has the opportunity that ha that's in the position to to better your life or to improve your, your life or give you a job opportunity, you better start thinking like your mother CV. Right. Yes, my name is so, 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 so. Yeah. This is what I do. Yeah. I've done this, yeah. I've done that. Yeah. It's not bragging, it's a fact. Is it, is it bragging if it's a fact? Right. There was a big, so I was on X Factor a million years ago, right? Was you on X Factor as well? That's how Ash and I met. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 we were both in groups. Fun fact! And fun fact. <clears throat> and the thing that really sticks in my head was, Derma O'Leary, mm -hmm. who is so nice by the way, came up to me and the guy that I sing with and basically was like, I think you guys, if you don't make it the whole way, would be really great presenters. I think you'd work really well, blah, blah, blah. This was like 2017, so years ago. Um, and he was like, so whenever, if you don't get this to the judges' houses, he was like, if you don't get through, come and chat to me and like, I wanna be able to help you out. Like he was super kind, lovely, lovely, lovely man. We then didn't make it through um, and he was around somewhere. And so I was like, okay, like I should go and find him to talk to because he literally said, come and find me if you don't get through, I'll try and you know, give you my details or whatever. I want to like nurture you in the industry. 
But because he wasn't immediately there and I didn't want to look like a beg who would be going up to a producer being like, excuse me, do you know where Dermot is? Because obviously to them, to a producer who hadn't heard the conversation with Dermot, I just looked like this beggy being like, oh, I want to talk to any famous person who, you know, and so I didn't. And so I, I never had that conversation with him because I wasn't confident enough in myself and the situation to be like, no, he told me to go and find him, to talk to him, to make this contact with him. And I think that was a big point looking back for me to be like, I fumbled the bag in that situation because wow. it wouldn't have been Beggy in any way. He literally told me to go and find him. So now I won't let that same situation happen again. That's crazy. Mm. That's crazy. And I mean, look where you are now. Have you seen Dermot since? No, not since, but I I know that our paths will cross. Oh, definitely. And yeah, he, and he's so nice too, you know, like he was really, really nice man. Do you know what? I thought, no, that, sorry. I was about to say, I feel like I've met him, but I've completely confused him with Paddy McGuinness. Of... Yeah, all white men look the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. But honestly, like I, I, I definitely feel that now. You are, you are giving us some hot, hot tea today. Listen. You are giving us some hot tea. But I definitely feel like that will help a lot of people. Like I love how America people are so boisterous and so themselves. confident. Let me tell you something. The, the way it's like, I don't know what it is about the UK, but the US, the way they behave is like if I don't get this opportunity now, mm -hmm. it's never coming. Even like, I remember I went to Coachella and um, at the end of Coachella, I was walking out and there were people like taxi drivers, taxi drivers come out of their car right. to pitch themselves for you to get a ride. And it was so gross. Excuse me, miss, excuse me, miss. Can you come into my car? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And that was, my British ass was taken aback. Right. It was a lot. I was like, whoa, like there's so many people coming up to me for, but they are so hungry right. in their approach to things. And I love it. We're a lot more conservatives. I don't want to look like a beg, so no. I'm not going to ask. They're also not scared to talk about money. And I think that keeps a lot of people down because money just, you won't hear anyone talking about money. No, here. we so don't talk no about money. There's no pay here. parity. Like so many people are shafted. Again, the more marginalized you are, the more likely you are to be shafted by the money situation by a boss because no one's talking about it. Facts. Whereas I feel like it's so much more, you'd be welcome to go into a job in America and be like, yeah, yeah, cool. Any more questions? Yeah. Um, what's the salary? Why is it competitive for me? Like you can say that to a boss. Whereas here it's like, you can go through four rounds of interviews Stages and, and not still know. not know what your pay is. Wow. You've wasted your time just because you dare ask because, well, the other person who's going for the job's not gonna ask. So I'll wait until I'm told that it's you're so a six year old. Mad. It's so mad because I remember going through a job stage and it's like, I didn't get to know the salary until stage three, when I when I actually had the courage to ask. Yeah, I was too scared to ask because it was like, it, it, it was one of those ones where they show the range, right? but they don't right. give you the specifics. Right. And it was, there was a fear of me like, oh my God, like what's the salary? But I don't want to upset him if I ask for the salary because I don't want him to think I'm money driven right. and I'm actually passionate about the job. But girl, I needed the mother money. I was money driven. We're all money driven. But it's like, even even though we are money driven, it's yeah. actually cheeky to, to put out that we're money driven. Why do you want the job? Oh yeah, because I'm passionate. No, I'm mother not. Because I have I need bills bread. to pay and I there's a bills. roof above my head. Yeah. I need bills to pay. Yeah. No, I got pill. No, I need bills to pay. I don't need bills to I pay. Yeah, you felt that. You felt that. You felt girls. Yeah. It's, the, it's the cocktails. You know what I'm <laughs> <doing that>. <laughs> Question of the week. We have question of the week this week. And this week's question is, what is the biggest lesson that employment has taught you? So before you were full-time content creator, presenter, mm. superstar, mm. was you doing any any jobs before? Used to work in a pub. Okay, sick. Um, and, but even there, I used to like sing and stuff. I used to get in trouble quite a bit. I was never really made for a job job, I don't think. I'm you telling I mean? you, yeah, like, like a, like a full-time job. Yeah, and I don't even mean that in a like, mm, I'm above it. I just mean like, I I wasn't right for a structured, like someone telling me what to, Facts. I always had to be self-employed. Not gonna lie, I was the same. And the thing is, it's like you, when you're somebody who is a creative, right? you try to make jobs that are not creative, as creative as possible. <laughs> exactly. I worked at Northampton Borough Council and that job was so mundane. Are you from Northampton, yeah? No. Oh. So I used to travel from Luton to Northampton to work. <laughs> like, it's, trust, I've suffered it. You guys are now suffering in this life. And Northampton Borough Council. Have. I know, yeah. I'm a hardworking woman. 
Two hours there, two hours back on the train. Yes, I used to, yeah, please, please. But yeah, I used to work there. And there was this one woman, and I know I've mentioned her all the time yet, but uh, <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't say her name again because- Don't say it. No, I've said her name too many times. Fine. Cause sorry, she was a Right. She was a, but I used to try and make the job so much more fun. I used to talk to my colleagues and stuff. And then she'd be like, no, you're supposed to put this in this folder. You're supposed to put this on this Excel spreadsheet. And now, and then I'll say something like, oh, what else are you trying to spread? Like I'd try and make it fun. And she'd just be like looking at me like, and then, I, cause I, I used to work on the phones. Yeah. And um, I used- You would have been a menace. Oh my God, I I, I just <laughs> know you would. You. So what else are you trying to spread? So, yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yes, your bin's not been taken out. I understand. Mm. Do you know what's so funny? I, I got I got in trouble one time because obviously when we're talking to um, contractors and stuff, we have to use the phonetic yeah. alphabet. The, so- and I never used to say it right. So I'd be like, yeah, J for jumping in the club. Right, B for batty. B for batty. <laughs> A for, are you gonna buy that drink though? C for candy. D for dilly. <laughs> F for, F for. Ooh. Fridge. Fridge. <laughs> <laughs> G yeah. for girl, you doing way too oh, much. <laughs> <laughs> C for clapped. Yeah, C no, for legit. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to get in trouble. I can do the whole thing now. Mm. Do you know the whole, do you know the whole phonetic alphabet? Should we do it really, really fast? Let's do, let's do alternate. Okay. Alpha. Bravo. Charlie. Um, Delta? No. Alpha? Yeah. Yeah, Delta. Delta. <gasps> yeah. Go All right, go on. Echo. Yeah, Foxtrot. Guava, Gina, giraffe, grazing, What's G? Golf. What do you know that manual? G for golf. Golf. F for, um, no. F was before G. Foxtrot. <laughs> Foxtrot, golf, H, A, B, C, D, F, G. H. H. H for Harry. No, H for hotel. Hotel. Okay. Indigo. Yeah, Juliet. No, is it? It is Juliet. Is it? K4. Kayak? Kangaroo? No, it's K4. Night. That'll be useless. Kilo. Is it K4 oh, Kilo? Yeah, That's a Kilo. K L for Lima. Moron. Manchester. <laughs> M4. Mango. Melon. Mike. Is it Mike? Mike! H L M N O P Q R. A, B, C, D, F, G, G, N. Go, N. S Nigeria. No, it's N for... <laughs> I, I see, I knew that. I thought you meant to know the octopus. Over, ah, uh, ovary, ah, uh, oh, we, we, no. Oslo. O for, um, no, I know this, O for oscillate. No. <laughs> <laughs> o for... Octav, octai, ah. Orange. Orange. Is it orange? No, Oscar. Oscar. Oscar, Oscar I, we can't go through all this. Historia. Do you know the one that used to f me? Do you know the Oscar. one that used to, no, not Oscar. <laughs> oh, as in, sorry, as in the Do letter. Do you know the letter that used to f <laughs> that used to f me? It's like, Charlie, no, Oscar, who's S, the... S for Sierra. Because the Sierra I know starts with the mother <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> They used to be like S for- It should S be for, Sharon. It's S, S is for Sierra. Yeah. I'm like, no. C is for Sierra. So Sierra used to- Sierra, uh-huh. My goodies. My goodies. <laughs> right? We were actually supposed to do employment. Oh yeah. yeah. So I used to work at, and again, what were we talking about? Creatives. Yes. Being a creative in a place, in a place, in a place in that a does not allow you to be, to be creative. creative. And that was Northampton Borough Council for me. <laughs> and it was exhausting. And it was like, my brain yeah. would just try and make fun out of everything. Like I'd just be- I also think to myself, I really worry now. It's not as if I say like, problematic stuff, but I'm really sarcastic. And so imagine the things that we say to each other, but if yeah. there was an HR. HR! We would be done for because we'd be sarcastic to people all the time and then we'd get pulled up and it'd be like, you said this thing and then out of context, they'd just tell us. Do you know what I mean? Because also I, I say all the time, oh my God, I want to die around <laughs> my mates. 
But then when I'm around like certain people who don't talk like that, if it's taken out of context, like sometimes I just say, oh my God, I want to die. But cause I like dropped my phone or like stubbed my toe. I don't actually want to die. But then some people who don't speak yeah. like that are like, I, what? Like they really see it as if you're trying to like, if you're if just cry all. for help. Yeah. Do you know so imagine, imagine being in a workplace, the kind of things that you and I say to each other. Oh my God, HR, they will arrest me. Yeah, there's not a chance. They will, they will arrest me. Yeah. You know what's mad? Piece I was in a meeting um, with a the, with the label and I was interviewing- um, Oh, River Island, about that nice skirt. Do you know what, funny enough, I used to work at River Island. That's why you wore it. it was That's a, why it I wore it. I was represented. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was represented the, the, the River Island the girlies. Girls. The <laughs> you. <laughs> you with your, with, your lo- with your long ass mother <laughs> teeth. <laughs> with your long ass mother <laughs> teeth. <laughs> nay, nay. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> right, I remember I had this, um, I was talking to a label and it's full of label execs, very, mm. very posh. And when I'm having an interview and I was talking to, to, to the artist. And I was like, yeah, they were, I was like, how are you doing? They're like, yeah, it's just been a bit stressful. I said, ah, don't go and kill yourself. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I said, ah, oh, girl, no, don't go and kill yourself. But where I'm from, when right. someone says, don't go and kill yourself. I can't come and kill myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yourself. yeah. And they were all looking like, did this girl just <laughs> Why would he kill himself? <laughs> why, would, why would she say that she, they should have killed this? Like, and I was like, no, you can't actually take me anywhere. No, no. No, honestly, HR, but do you know one thing I wish I did? I wish I snitched a lot more. <laughs> I'm brought, no, I'm from a background right. that's no snitching. Like we yeah. don't, like if we have a problem with somebody, yeah. we won't report it. Right. I wish I snitched on us. I wish <laughs> when she was saying what she was saying and doing what she's doing, I wish I was click clacking on the email and sending right. it to her. Because what tends to happen is that when you're somebody that doesn't snitch, yeah. you end up tolerating a lot of things. Yeah. And then HR don't know about it. Then when it's when you now do something, they're click clacking, and you just look like right. You and your look side's like the problem. Not being logged each time. Your yeah, side's yeah. not being logged, and you look like the mother problem. Yeah. But I'm guessing that's not the issue in a pub. You just had like drunken men. Oh yeah, mine was just like, can Jack stop singing to the chefs, please? Do you know what? I think you'll be. I think you'd be so good at that. Like especially that time when you had long teeth. It's like a bottle opener. You're just cutting. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Just using yeah, your teeth yeah, yeah. to open all the beer bottles. 100%. Yeah. And I also think obviously with your teeth being so small, it means that your mouth wouldn't have had to move as much when you were talking to So I feel like we were both thriving in our relevant in our, Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Not the ball opener. <laughs> I told you I was gonna get my lick back, mm. girl. I'm so just gonna get my lip back. But yeah, let's read some of the things that the people said about um, what they've learned from employment. Mm. And maybe we can we can relate to some yes. of those stuff. So let's, let's go baby teeth. What? <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you Nene. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me win. Let's go Nene, <laughs> whip it well. <laughs> What's the biggest thing? <laughs> That's the sound of a horse. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Let's mm. focus on the task at hand, mm. y'all. <clears throat> What's the biggest lesson that employment has taught you? Somebody said, quit. If the job is draining you, depressing or not conductive in your life, leave. Allah will provide. Don't make the job your life because they'll get rid and replace you in a heartbeat. So who gonna pay the bills? Well, yes. <laughs> But I do, I do agree to an extent, inshallah. I agree. I definitely, I feel like if it's depressing you and- but I, It is that thing about like, ideally you would get a job whilst in a job. Please have a plan. <laughs> I mean, please have a, obviously like- It's easy to follow like social media girlies advice of like- Yeah, just uh, leave. And then be like, and what happens to the roof? Yeah, who gonna pay this uh, council in. tax? Yeah. Who is gonna pay the Northampton Borough council tax? Facts. If you and- aren't on the keys, do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. To be honest, yeah, to be fair, I had to leave that job by by force <laughs> because they fired me. But if I had the choice to Why leave- Why did they fire you? 
Do you know what? What yeah. was the final straw? I had so many. I had so many. I was always late. Yeah. Then that does um, not surprise me in the slightest. I think there was one time they said I was rude to someone on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> And they had it rooted you know what's what? I they had it recorded. Oh no. So they recorded the call. And I was I was rude to someone at the phone and they were like, well, on and you know one thing about these HR, one thing about these corporate places, they go record everything. On the 29th of December 2001, you had a conversation at 12:53 p.m. And you told the guy to suck his mum. <laughs> you told the guy to suck his mum. <laughs> Can we play it back? No need. No, the, no need. I'll take my things. And they'll have it recorded. They'll have it recorded. Hello, Justin. How are you? I've got the. F suck your. Can you suck? <laughs> I swear that she played it back to me, and I was like, "Is and then and then they'll do that <laughs> passive thing." So is this you on the call? Oh can yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who else you, is it? Can you confirm it's that not this Sierra. is you on the call? <laughs> No, I've had to borrow council was hell. <laughs> but I think the last, no, the last straw, no, the last straw was basically, whilst I was, and bearing in mind, I was still on probation. I hadn't even been there three months. <laughs> the so there was, was a snowing. We, there was, there, it was snowing and it was COVID at the time. So I couldn't work from, I couldn't go into the office because it was snowing. There was no way for transport and it was COVID. But because I wasn't trained, I couldn't work from home. So she just made me do one stupid spreadsheet. So I had like two weeks of just doing f call, like <laughs> paid. She was like, nah, this bitch gotta go. Right. This bitch gotta go. But that was that was the last straw. But if so I if had- So if you'd not cussed someone out on the phone, you'd have been, it'd have been great because you would have been being paid to do nothing, but you shot yourself in the foot. No, because when I had to go back into the office, it was still hell. Do you know what? Even do you know what? Even when even when she fired me, I remember that I was so happy. Right. I was like, listen, I was like, thank you so much. It makes a decision for you. I I'll guess. tell you exactly what I said. I said, wow, do you know what? I've learned so much in this job. I've learned how to organize my folders on the computer. Because <laughs> I never knew you could put a folder in a folder in a folder. This always used to put folders and folders and folders and folders. And I was like, that's quite an organized way to- So you just had like a cluttered up desk. I just had a, one of them. Yeah, I'm one of them. She put a folder in a folder folder. And I actually, I was like, could I take a keyboard home? <laughs> and she said, no. And I said, you know what? That's fine. I was so happy to leave. I was like, I was so happy to leave. Well, I was like a parting present. Can I yeah, please take I a said, keyboard? I said, could I take my keyboard home with me? And she was like, no, it's Are not- Are you well? This she was like, no, it's Northampton Borough Council property. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this. Not you stealing from the council. No, she was like, it's Northampton Borough Council property. I was like, okay. She hated you. No, she hated my guts. <laughs> and she was such a overshare. Anyway, sorry. One day I will, I will actually talk about Northampton Borough Council and my ordeal <laughs> in that place because that alone is hell. But yeah. What would, if I, right. Go on. If he came in right now. Mm hmm Please reveal. No, imagine <laughs> if, if I was right yeah. now, what would you say? So I would sit down and go, hello, Joyce. We hi, meet again. Hi, how's your boyfriend that you cheated on your husband with? Where's my keyboard, Joyce? <laughs> hmm? It's the locker. <laughs> the locker that you also had the key to. Oh. Oh, my um, my husband is well, thank you for asking. How's yours? Aren't you separated mm. because you cheated? <laughs> 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 nah, she don't want it from me. I got all your tea. <laughs> the first time I met her, I was like, this woman is amazing. Because the first night we did, an, we, did a, um, we did a shift together and she just started telling me about her life. She was like, yeah, um, <laughs> I used to work in, I used to work for the bank and da, da 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 And I was like, okay, cool. That's fascinating. It starts off slow like that. And then you get to, yeah. So after this, I'm going to see my um, boyfriend, but it's a bit, com but, but it's a bit complicated because it's like, he's my boyfriend, but uh, no, she used to wear her wedding ring, even though she wasn't married because she's divorced because she cheated on her husband <laughs> with a younger man, but the younger man is now her boyfriend. See, I think that's quite slay. But we I could have, it was We slay. could have stand her. Like we could have, she we could have gone the right her. way if she'd not been a We could have stand, and then it was just like, girl, like, and then the micromanaging mm. 
Oh my god. Anyway, sorry. This we we don't need to go into this no. until another thing. Does she still work there? Listen, that woman was there for fifteen years when I started. I promise you, I can look you dead at this camera. That woman is still there. <laughs> That woman, that's her blood. That's her blood. Yeah. Her blood pump, her, her heart pumps Northampton Borough Council. <laughs> you like, cut her until, in half. No, so if you like cut a stick of rock, it just NBC says, gang. No, seriously, the cre- she has the crest in her soul somewhere. Honestly, that's her, bl- that's her lifeline. She ain't got nothing else, mate. She, if she left, I'd be shocked. Mm. I'd be shocked. <laughs> I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked, girl. But yeah, another person said, those people don't give a fuck about you. Take Take that PTO. What's PTO? Pay time off. Yeah, I also agree with that. I think this whole thing about where people love to set all like bosses love to play the whole like, we're a family, blah, blah, blah. If you were a family, you would allow me this time off or doing this or whatever. It's only a family when it benefits the higher ups for it to be a family so that you stick around and you put in extra overtime that's not paid. It isn't a family. You're at work. It's okay to just treat a job as a job and then go home. Literally, I feel like that's, I feel like, and especially when you're a creator mm. or when you're somebody generally that's quite empathetic. Yeah. I feel like I really found it hard to switch off. There's some people that have a work face yeah. and they put their work face nine to five and they're laughing at all the shit, corporate jokes and they're a complete different person. Yeah. And then when they go home, they're, they're the, them real selves yeah. and you can really they have two distinguished personalities i could never do that i was the same when i came to work mm. oh my god hi everybody like what's goody in the hoodie then when i get home i'd be the same yeah and i really really struggled to separate the two lives that's why now in my job i get to be myself in any capacity in any way shape or form but when you're in corporate <clears throat> or when you're working in employment and you're working with your fake family who's not really your family because your boy's one minute, but the next minute they're trying to write emails about you and mm. sending messages to HR. Now mm. HR's having meetings about you talking mm. about your on strike one. And if you do it again, you're going to get disciplinary. And if you do it again, you're going to have a, a, a no job. Just in theory. Just in theory. Yeah. Just not, in from theory. Personal not from personal experience. experience. <laughs> I forgot my point. <laughs> I was you got so, so under, into that imaginary I was so scenario. Imaginary scenario that never that never happened to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, so you have this fake family. Yeah. And you try and be yourself in front of that family. And then you end up feeling a little bit burnt when yeah. they do that. When you're like, oh, yeah. when HR's now yeah, messaging you, you or the manager's calling you saying, Oh yeah, we've had a we, we some of your colleagues have been saying this and that. And let me tell you something, yeah. Don't tell me some of your colleagues. Say the name. So I know who not to talk to. Paula. Say it's Paula that said it. If you're bad, <laughs> say it's Paula. That's what they do. Hey, yes. love. If you're bad yeah, in your to... Evans wrap dress and your tits out, you will tell me it was Paula. Yeah, tell me it's Paula. <laughs> say it's her. Because you... this has happened to me a couple of times. I've had a couple of jobs where you sit down with a manager and they're yeah. like, yeah, a couple of your colleagues say that name. Mm-hmm. Who did it? Mm. Who said it? Because more time it's the person that's like, oh my God, you want to oh, yeah, have kiss... sandwich? Yeah, yeah. In, in the... <laughs> In the staff room. And a pickled onion. Yeah. Or it's the person that when they, did, when they didn't bring any lunch, mm. you were offering them half of your thing that you made, your half of your homemade yeah. um, lunch. Lasagna. lasagna. The, the, the lasagna that you didn't finish the night before. Mm. You're sharing it with them and they're busting it, they're chopping it. And then they're writing emails on your, behind your back. So... Sorry, that was so passionate. I've yeah, suffered. wow, you you have suffered in this life. I have suffered. Listen, working with people has given me trust issues. Yes. Colleagues, yes, them colleagues. Imagine that you if think you're, you're still there now. Imagine if you were still- <laughs> them colleagues that you think you're guys. That's my G. Oh my yeah. god, that's my work wife. That's my work husband. They're like, yes, I have a complaint to make mm. about, and they won't tell you. They'll be smiling in your face, kiki in. And then they're writing emails. Yeah. Y- y'all know where to kiss it. <laughs> y'all know where to kiss it. Sorry, excuse my rants. Mm, that's all right. Somebody else said, clock in, do your job, go home, you are replaceable. Correct. Agreed. The sooner you realize that, the better. Honestly, start. honestly, I always say that with these jobs, if anything was to happen to you, 
and you you were working your ass off. You spent 200 million years in that corporate <laughs> job, fighting, working, spreadsheets, everything. Folders on folders. folders. And then you die. Yeah. Or you get sick. Do they care? They'll tell you, sorry, 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 and put your job on, on the job marketplace the next week. Yep. Sorry to break it to you. If you think that that means something to yeah. them. That seat will not even be cold no. by the time they swap your ass. So health is so important. Look after yourself. <laughs> Jack is looking at me like this is just crazy. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. So how does it work when you work? You That's hospitality. Hospitality, hospitality. must be, nah. Hospitality must be a different ball game. It, yeah. Hospitality is hard, you know. Talk to me. I just think people who, I think hospitality and then um, like service workers are in shops like with Ryland type thing. Yeah. When it's sales and big holidays are like as brave as it gets. Facts. Like the whole like Boxing Day or like Black Friday sales, whatever. If you work like my mates who worked in New Look, it's Armageddon. Boxing Day is mad. I remember Boxing Day at River Island. Yeah. That was hell. That was really hell. I can't take you saying River Island seriously because I just keep thinking about that skirt. The skirt. If you can call it a skirt, yeah. I don't know why I even picked, I don't know why I thought, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I picked up before this is the It's the fact you just to wear it in LA. It would have been bad enough if you'd have gone out in Northampton after like after work and <laughs> drinks with us. But the fact that you- We're in, LA, in LA on Rodeo Drive. And no one came up to you and like started trying to give you money. No. Wow. Or if they if they did, I missed it. Yeah. Or you I just took it because you thought it was like a benefactor. I was like, oh, daddy, thank <laughs> you, daddy. His ten cents, girl. Daddy. <laughs> His poor arranged yeah, woman. No, seriously. In a leather tire. Oh my days. But service. Um, when I did retail, I worked at Boxing Boxing Day as a retail worker. And do you know what? Yeah, people- You should get paid 10 times the you normal should. rate for that. You should. Double pay is not enough At for all. Boxing Day and Christmas Day. No. Because you are on your feet for like the whole nine hours. You're mm. not You're not hiding mm. in the storeroom. If you think you're hiding in the shoe cupboard on Boxing Day- Also, at least with like an office job, if you're hungover, you can kind of just rot at your desk. If you're working in a pub or in a shop like that with a hangover, your life is over. It's done. Done. Like, I, oh God, retail, I think retail generally was a bit pain because I feel like I started seeing people for for who they are. <laughs> like I had some really good customers and stuff, mm. but people can be quite rude. Yeah. People they treat can be, you like shit. They treat you like yeah. Shit. yeah. I think I got that more when I worked in Tesco's. I had a little Tesco moment. I, oh God. What? Shelves or tail or back? No, I was I was at the deli counter. I used to sell cheese. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I had the little hat. Did you get to give out free samples? Yeah, free I samples. I love pork that pie. on a Ritz cracker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pork, pork mm. pie, sausage rolls, mm. chicken tikka bites. Mm. That Olives. was my thing. Olives. That was me. Olives. Yeah. And then I had the pizza counter on the right of me, and the meat counter to the left of me. I fish the fishmongers. Um, <laughs> Honestly, that nah, I've actually worked some job you you so have all suffered the, i've suffered so you only did pub so i did yeah i did pub then i was a singer then i was an academic tutor and then i started my own tutoring agency and then now i do this oh sick you was a what was your tutor in singing uh no like geography chemistry biology you went to school history. yeah like you finished yeah really what did you finish? Uh, geography at Oxford. <clears throat> <laughs> like when you mean Oxford, like uh, Oxford Brook or was it Brook Oxford? No, what they Oxford call uni. You went to Oxford to do geography. <laughs> yeah. You went to Oxford. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes, yeah, right down. Have you said this before? I'm, I mean, I'm sure somewhere, yeah. I don't like, it's not that relevant. Like I, it was like, what, seven years ago? So I don't really. You graduated? Really, yeah. <laughs> Jackie went to school? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually such a bad <laughs> for me. I think because I'm chaotic, people just presume that I- So you're actually smart? Can't read. Yeah, I do all right. 
I'm actually so taken aback by this. I'm not saying you look stupid. But. I'd, you wasn't given Oxford. <laughs> Good you wasn't though. Given, you wasn't I given, didn't want to give, you know what I mean? Because I feel like there's a certain. Stigma. Yeah. Or like presumption. If you, if you, before you knew me, knew that you'd be like, oh, right. Well, he'll be boring then. He'll be dry. You wouldn't think that is Fanny such on the a, close friends. I'm so taken aback by this, you know. That's so cool. And you were tutoring. Do you know what? I'm so <laughs> I'm, I'm quiet because a girl is stunned. A girl is stunned. Wow, I'm so impressed. I'm a bit turned on, per. An intellectual man. <laughs> That's why he was talking about much of the last community. I was thinking Jack is, Jack is sounding smart today. Oh, okay. Education. Okay. <laughs> I love that for you, you know. I just dribbled. Sorry, sorry. I am so taken aback. Did you know this here? Do you know what, Jack? I I love you. What happened? <laughs> Look at you layers like lasagna. Look at <laughs> layers like lasagna. <sighs> okay, so we have a final one from the biggest lesson that employment has taught you. Yeah. Mr. K Mr. Cambridge Oxford. <laughs> I almost said Cambridge, but I was like, no, wrong uni, wrong uni. That's ADHD, right. ADHD, That's sorry. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the last one? Efficient workers get punished with more work. Correct. Stall, 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 stall. Weaponized incompetence. Oh yes. All the way. I was incompetent anyway, so I didn't need to weaponize you didn't it. Need to weaponize it now. But for people who went to Oxford mm. that have the intellect, mm. that they know they could do more. Mm. But so this is it then. You didn't know because I, you just play it down. Yeah, you just play it down, and then you don't get lumped with too much. Do you know what? I'm still taken aback. Sorry, <laughs> because I've known Jack for a while now. And yeah, but imagine if I if imagine if I walked into places and be like, I just be like, hi. Oh. By the way, um, I actually went to university. Like, <laughs> that's like, you know what I mean. Do you know what? Even you go and say that you went to uni was busting my mouth. That's how I was like, you went to school. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you smart? I keep, every time I think about how much weight I've lost, that I think about crazy. my first ever red carpet, note premiere, and it just haunts me. I'm just like, yeah, you used to be big. And I thought I was skinny. That's the funniest thing. I've always, I'm so delusional. I, when I live with my mate before, we always say this, when I was at my most clapped, I look back at photos and I'm like, I cannot believe that is genuinely when I was the most confident. Then I, more than I am now. Facts. I thought I was a 10 and I was a minus two. Oh God, I was having a conversation with my bestie and we were going through it. I was like, I remember when I took this and I thought I was the I Don Dada. As in, I literally thought I was Zac Efron. No, dead and ass. And I was Rick Waller. As in, dead I was ass. not good. It's funny because I, I now Isn't think about- mad? I think it's about- an age thing. Just like, oh, this is when I was like, how old are you? 26. I'm 29. And this is- Oh, daddy. Uh, mm, this is when I was like 21. I actually thought I was like model T's. And I was putrid. Like looking back, I was actually repulsive. But at I the was time, all gum, or as we know, all too. Yeah, all too. I should have been used as a lawnmower. I <sighs> cannot, I cannot get over how minging I was. And I honestly was like, "Where's the runway? Why am I not walking it?" <laughs> I swear. But I think about sometimes in this era. Am I going to uh, look back at ten years time in this era where mm. I feel like I'm. I'm sexier than ever, and I'm going to be like, oh, "What was I doing here?" No, no, because you were. I'll, I will, you can ask Ash, I objectively would tell you if you look clapped or not, and you don't look clapped anymore. But I was clapped before? Yes. But you know what's mad? The one time Ash and I have fallen out is because she got really bad eyelash extensions and I told her like the day she got them and then we were going on holiday and she was like, well, what do I do now? What you told do? me I look shit. And I was like, well, sorry, I can't not. <laughs> I don't have it in me to lie. I don't. No, but, that's, but that's when you know a compliment from me is actually tea. It's tea. Okay, of course, cool. it's a genuine thing. Yeah. Okay, T, but You know I'd tell you if you look clapped. No, you would tell I'd me. I'd revel in it. No, you would tell me. <laughs> <laughs> You'd actually tell me. And also, I didn't realize that I was that big. I think that was the thing that was shocking because it was like, when I was looking at it, I was thinking, I look quite big here. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's a size thing because it was an everything else thing for you okay. in that photo. Okay. You could have, 
you could have styled out what you were for sure. You were just incapable. Okay, so the whole thing was just scattered. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, you look amazing now, but it didn't, I don't think it took- It wasn't, it wasn't lose way, stone. okay, it yeah. It took needing to stop wearing like beaten up tires as skirts. Facts. And standing on Rodeo Drive looking like you had a broken back. Like you looked unwell. I could I could talk about that photo for hours, but we don't have time, so let's the, move on. The, sorry, the the okay. I don't. It's my fault. I'm the one that showed it to you. Yes. I'm the problem here. Right, and now my retinas are scarred. I just every time my mind wanders, it just goes back there. Back to that, that brimstone hat. What is? Please, the hat didn't fit my head. Does he? The hat. Too you small. look like a witch from Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> You know but look what? at you now. I deserve it. Mm. I deserve it. Don't mm. worry. It's all right. We'll get your lip back. <laughs> we'll actually get your lip back. Obviously, you know, we found out today that you're quite intelligent. Mm. Which, to be honest, is not, is not the first thing that you give. But obviously, <laughs> like, apparently you are a tutor. <laughs> tutor. You, tutor. Tutor. No, I said it in just an accent. I knew what Ah, uh, right, okay. I said, if that's tutor in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, okay. I didn't know you, I didn't know you spoke Spanish. Si. Vale. Claro. Ah. <laughs> Period. <laughs> right, so we have a game in which we ask our co-hosts mm. cultural questions. This mm. is the cultural questionnaire. Okay. I'm actually excited by this mm. because I don't think we've ever had somebody who actually is smart doing it. But I have a question for you. Are you smart? Do you think you're smart? I think I'm all right. I'm not stupid. Per. Yeah. Right, so we've got Watch six we questions. Eat words, yeah. We've got six questions. Okay. You can only give me one answer. Okay. So if you get it right, yeah. I have to take one of the nice or naughty shots. Sure. The question lands on the shot, so I don't know which one is nice or naughty. Sure. Neither do you. Sure. If you get it wrong, you have to take the shot that could be nice or naughty. Fine. And then we get a libre a libre libre. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So well yes. I love you. Are you ready? Yes. See. Question number one. Mm. It's a riddle. Riddle, riddle. I hate riddles. What is something that you have, but you can't touch? You can change whenever you want and you use it every day, but you never... This Your changes mind. tense. Let me just say that again. You use it every day, but have never seen me. What am I? You can change your mind. You can change direction, but you don't have direction. What's the first bit? What is something that you have, but you oh, can't touch? Mind. You can change whenever you want and you use it every day, but have never seen me. What am I? Yeah, I think it's mind. Are you locking that in? Yeah. That is correct. Well done. So I have to take the shot. <laughs> <clears throat> Tia, oh come on! Is that poo? Come on, Tia! <laughs> Is that shit? This come on, Tia. Smell it. Oh f me, mate! <laughs> it's cinnamon. Oh, that's fine. No, it's like Glozelle did the challenge. Remember that? The, 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 cinnamon, the cinnamon challenge. challenge. Why were we doing that? That at was school? so iconic. That was an and iconic. ice one. Do you remember salt and ice? People used to do burns and shit. I never used to do that one. I wasn't oh. sadistic. No, fine. But the cinnamon one. Whole thing then, whole thing then. Say it off. That what? Was oh! Oh! Ah! what was it? What was it? It's lemon juice and cinnamon with a tiny bit of water, but she hates lemon juice. I would have loved oh. that. I hate lemon I juice. I love lemon juice. That oh, was hell. hell. Okay, fine. That was hell. Number two. You see, Ash, it's, it's you and Ash that keep making me say that was hell. Every, hell, we love hell. saying that. that. This is hell. No, Ash in the in the house. Yeah. Hell. Every every single thing she did or said, I was like, that's my girl. It was just no, after. Seriously, <laughs> I I literally got it off her. Yeah. As a Christian girly, I'm trying to yeah. take it out of my vocab. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. But it's literally this is hell. Like it's okay, giving hell, yeah. Seriously, mm. or you just you'll just be like hell, like hell, <laughs> the same yeah. word, like. <laughs> <laughs> right. Question number two. Yeah. What is the most abundant element in the universe? Nitrogen. Are you locking that in? No, I'm not. Oh, shit. 
it's like 79%, whichever one it is, it's way more, people always think it's carbon dioxide, well, it's not, not, it's not an element, but people always think it's oxygen and that's really low. It's helium, hydrogen or nitrogen. Um, oh God. I'm gonna say hydrogen. Are you locking that in? Mm. We need to get an answer. I know we do. <laughs> Shattered place. Um. Okay. My first answer is nitrogen. I'm gonna go with nitrogen. We are locking in nitrogen. That is incorrect. Which the one was answer is hydrogen. <laughs> the fact you even had options, I was like, okay. <laughs> so this is for you. This might be a good one. This might be a nasty one. I don't know. It does. It does look like diarrhea. It looks like my dog's vomit. Oh, he vomit. It smells like chocolate. Morning. Oh, oh, is it chocolate? <laughs> is it chocolate protein? No, it's um like. Cocoa and coconut water. Oh. Not you shaking it in your mouth. But wait, that's a, just a, mm. A, mm, tastes like hydrogen. <laughs> the answer was hydrogen. The answer was hydrogen. Raw. So. Well, and I used to teach chemistry. Christ. I know, not very well, in clearly. It's shy. I always that's had my textbook in front of me, so I never had to actually know anything. Basic chemistry, like. Yeah, you'd on, have known you, that, wouldn't you, Christ? Who doesn't know that hydrogen <laughs> is the most abundant <laughs> universe element in the world? Universe element in the world, right. <laughs> yeah, no, for yeah. sure. Anyway, next question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, right. Question number three. Ariana Grande's first studio album was released in what year? It was called Yours Truly. And it was released in 2013. Are you locking that in? Yes. That was quite confident. Are you an Ariana Grande fan? Mm -hmm. Serious one. I like her. She's not, Beyonce is my number one. That is correct. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> Tia, no. <laughs> you know what's back? You guys can't see Tia. I looked at her, she went. <sighs> I just so know this, this one is hell. Question wrong as well. I just know this one is hell. It looks all right, it looks like apple juice. You can always tell the ones that are really bad when the glass is warm. <laughs> Is it piss? <laughs> it's warm. And I hate this for me. No one told you to be an intellect. Who forced you to be smart? <laughs> <laughs> I have the spirit of him with me right now. Not you whispering. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. Just see it off. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> Not the shake. <laughs> Not the exorcism. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was a concentrated miso soup. Oh. That was hell. Wow. That was a hell. My belly's gonna be so bus up. <laughs> My belly is gonna be so bus up. <sighs> Question number four. Yeah. This is a guess the song. Okay. I love a guess the song. You are my relation and connection to the sun. That's the first line. You are my, uh, Beyonce. You are my relation, connection to the sun. Even next to me, there's no darkness I can overcome. Dangerously in love, Beyonce. So I'm just gonna read the next line oh. because you had three lines. <laughs> the second line is, I can't do this thing called life, life without, without you here, here with me. me. Okay, for f Cause sake. I'm dangerously okay. in love with you. And the third line is created in this world to love. 
Created in this world to love. And the answer is Beyonce dangerously in love. Okay. 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 To live you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so angry right now, but that was so good. Mm. But I was angry to say that. The answer was Beyonce dangerously in love. I don't think anyone has ever got the first line. <laughs> Nobody has I read the first line. I told you Beyonce was my girl though. No, but I know you said she's your girl, but dang, like, <laughs> let me finish the question. <laughs> <sighs> this way? Yeah, that'll be a nice one. Nah, it actually, it, okay, it's a nice one, God. I need it, I need something to wash down this miso soup. Which means, <laughs> which means this next one's a rotter. Oh Lord. Oh God. What was it? What was it to your smoothie? It was, no, it's juice. It's um, a carrot, banana, Ooh. and okay. orange peach. Concoction. Yeah. Mm, delicious. I knew. Delicious. <laughs> yes, I watch you guys as concert. See? I'm a bad kind of fan. <laughs> How do you? <sighs> right. Mm. Question number five. Mm. What is the name of the longest river in Africa? Is this a trick question? No. The Nile. Are you locking that in? Yeah. But yeah, I don't understand why the questions are so easy this week. <laughs> <laughs> because what the I'm not. You know what's funny? That question was actually multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> Denial is a river in Egypt. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is fantastic. <sighs> is this the is this this cheap vodka? It's the cheap vodka. Oh, come on, what is this? <laughs> nah, this is hell. <sighs> Just think delicious and nutritious. Just see Is this, off. can you drink this? Yes. <laughs> 100% yes. It's Nile water. This actually smells like, you know when you smell the inside of a flash, flash, uh, Photography. flash spray. The flame. <laughs> All purpose cleaner. You're losing the plot. Oh. Just back it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? Dramatic. It's rose water. Ew! Come on, man. <laughs> Let's just put that to cleanse your makeup when you finish. No, you can put it in food to flavor food also. That was awful. I'm laughing with you. We're in this Where am I laughing? <laughs> Where, I'm trying to find a joke in all this. I'm the joke at the moment. You are the joke. Just hurt me. <sighs> that was horrible. It could be worse. So, Tia, we have a spell the word. You mm-hmm. know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna let you ask the question. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight for my life in this one. It's there, all right. So, the word that you have to spell is? Mnemonic. P N. Either P N, I think it's P N E U M O N I C. It's either that or it doesn't have an E, but I'm gonna go with that. Say that again. P N E U M O N I C. Okay. Is that wrong? We are locking that in. Hmm. Without an E. That is correct. Oh, yes. No, it's not. I'll take the mother <laughs> shot. Okay, go on, tell me it that. was M N. Oh, it starts with an M, not a P. O N I. Did it have an E? It did have an E. So it was just the M I got wrong instead of a P. Because you know, you put a U somewhere randomly. Oh, really? Yeah, you just dashed in a U there. Raw. Oh, that's nice. 
No, but we need to stop making the last shot nice because it's like, can we not mix it up or what? What is that? Why? It's, that's, it's a wholesome way to end the show. Also, um, that <sighs> is strawberry cheesecake Fanta. Ooh. Oh, the one with the question mark on. Yeah. Mm. Went to the launch event for that. <clears throat> Thank God you didn't choose Riddle. Not you saying, oh, darkness. No, do you know what? You actually, I'm pretty impressed with you today, Jack, you know. Thanks. He's sexy and intelligent. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> so, I think you got four out of six. Yeah, which that's, is... That's good. Mm, okay. I'd have liked to do better. But I want to say, honestly, thank you so much for coming. This has Thanks been such a good me. chat. Where do we find you on the internet? At Jack Remington, two M's, not like the shaver. I have to say that every time I'm on the phone. You know, like when you're doing customer service. Mm -hmm. And they're like, surname, please. Remington, like the shaver, or the hair straighteners, but two M's. Period. It's so annoying. People spell it with one. On all platforms. So at Jack Remington. And then you can find the Jack and Ash show at Jack and Ash show on YouTube. So I've been Jack Remington. She's been clapped. And we will be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl. Should I get a f off my <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs>